Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. I know it's been a minute since I've been filming, uh, but I just had a lot going on in between work and the ending of summer pretty much, but I'm back. So today we're just gonna do something. I'm wearing pink, so of course I'm gonna do like a little pink creation. What I'm gonna do, I'm not for sure yet. So we'll just go with it and see what, you know, what happens. So I'm going to start off with my Catrice eyeshadow primer. Let me just put this on the lid. I hope everybody's been doing well. I've been doing pretty good. Again, just busy. So. I'm just gonna blend that in on the lid. There's the church bells. Every time I film, it seems like the church bells are going off. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And then I'm just gonna use my LA Girl Pro Mastery eyeshadow palette. And let's see here. I'm gonna take a couple <clears throat> blending shades here. So use this color and this color. LA Girl, they do have some pretty good eyeshadow palettes and they're affordable. I really like them. I'm just gonna go in again and put these transition colors on. And I'll probably come back to that palette later as well. Well, actually, yeah, I'll be mainly using that palette because I have pink on, so I'm gonna use that palette today and see what I can work with. So now I'm gonna go into the purples in here. So they have some purple, some dark purple, some shimmers, things like that. So I'm just gonna mix up a few colors and it's a different brush. It's not, you know, it's not the same brush. I have a couple of these brushes here. I might go in with some shimmer here in a little bit. Just mix it up a little bit, see what I can create. But that's the two purplish colors there, these two colors here. And I'm debating on which shimmer to use. I could use a few of them, but we'll see. So there's that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyeliner. Again, I'm using the, what is this? LA Girl Glide Eyeliner Gel. It's in black. This is a real good one, it's soft too. It's not gonna poke your eye or anything like that. So it's soft. I'm just gonna sharpen it up real quick here. I always love these gel liners. They're so gentle on the eyelid. And me personally, I pull on my eyelid because it helps me put it on a lot easier than just sitting there trying to mess with it. It glides on a lot better. I 
Okay, so I think I'm going to mix some shimmer. So I'm gonna use the LA Girl palette again. And I think I'm going to take um, this color here. It's a nice mauve pink type of color. And then there's also another palette that I have, which is the Ace Beauté palette. And I think I'm gonna use uh, this color right here. It's nice and shimmery as well. So then I'm just gonna mix both of those colors there on my eyelid and see what we can create. So give me just a moment here. Let me find a brush, see what I can do with it. Okay. So I'm just taking this color here first. I'm just gonna put this on the outer lid and see what we can do. All right, let's spray the brush and see if I can get more color on there. So, actually, yeah. And that seems to be showing a little bit more. Sometimes you do have to spray your, uh, spray your brush in order for the color to show. Um, it just helps it better. And this is just out of the LA Girl palette. And then here in a moment, I'm gonna take the other palette and use the other color and see what I can do with that. I'm just taking it on the edge of the eyelid, putting it on there. I'm gonna have to spray my brush again now. All right, and then on the other side, I'm going to use the same brush, just flip the brush over, and I'm gonna use this pretty pink color here. See what we can do with that. Oh yeah, that's really popping now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really popping now. Me, I personally like to mix colors. I like to mix them, mix them in just to give a blend of colors together. But I like to blend them together and create more than one color. So I'm gonna spray my brush again. So this color in the Ace Beauté palette, this is called Cherry Pie. So I'll leave the palette listed down below so you guys can have that if you wanna look into it. It's a real nice palette. It's very pigmented and I like it. I like the colors. Never fails, you always get one eye looking better than the other. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. We'll work with it, keep it going. All right, so that's pretty much it as far as the shimmer goes. I like the look, it's pretty. I will blend out the edges here though. So that's that. Let me take a clean blending brush here and just blend out the edges a little bit. That way it doesn't look all choppy and uneven.
Okay, so now we're getting ready to put on the foundation, but I'm gonna set my face, of course. Um, so I'm gonna take the Catrice uh, Poreless Blur Primer. I'm still using this. I love this because it's thick. So I'm gonna take that, and then I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Powder. I'm gonna use this first, and then use the other uh, primer, the Catrice Primer. This stuff smells so good. So I'm just saying to myself, I need to get me one of them itty bitty handheld fans to fan my face when I'm setting my face. All right, and then I'm gonna take the Catrice primer now and get that on. You just take like a dime size amount. Sometimes I go a little bit over. <laughs> just depends on how my skin's acting that day, I guess. Okay, so now that the primer is set in, we're gonna go ahead and go with the foundation. So I'm using the Maybelline New York 30 Hour Foundation. And this one is in the shade Toppy Caramel. This one's, I like this, it's thicker, more coverage. I like it. I always like Maybelline products, they're pretty good. Go ahead and blend it in. I'm a full coverage type of person, so. I mean, I can get away with like minimal makeup as well, but me personally, I prefer full coverage, medium to full coverage. This is definitely a full coverage foundation. And I like it. I like the thicker foundations. In the summertime, I like the medium, the medium liquidy foundations as well. Actually, I just tend to mix them up, but. I guess it's whatever mood I'm into for foundations and stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the concealer. I've been mixing up my concealer a little bit. <clears throat> um, so I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, and this one is in Tan Walnut. So that's a good shade and I'm still using my L'Oreal. I won't stop you know, using these. These work for me, they're full coverage too. I still have Caramel, which is 400. And I still use the 415 Honey. So I mix these up. But I know that I'll be not using this here pretty soon because the weather's changing. So we'll go back to my lighter shades. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and apply the concealer on here. I just mix it up a little bit. And that darker color, I just put a dot on there because it, it'll make my under eyes look orange. So. I just put a little bit on there. And then we'll get ready to blend it out. So we're going to go ahead and blend out the concealer. I already did one eye while I'm working on it. And I'm going to go ahead and blend out this next one here. I've been having to look up more as I'm blending out my concealer because if not, then it will crease. So I have noticed that. So just blending this out the best that I can. You always want to look up, especially if you notice that you're getting creases underneath your eyes with the concealer. Um, I have a problem with that. I don't know. You know, not everybody's skin is perfect or anything like that, but it's something within makeup and your blending technique, I guess. So, but I've been finding that this is working. So. Okay, 
Okay, so just a reminder, before you um, set your under eyes, always you know, blend in that concealer that you were just setting before you apply your you know, powder, your setting powder. It's translucent, so. And I'm still using that CoverGirl translucent setting powder. And I pretty much don't even use my um, sponges anymore, like my Wet n Wild Beauty sponge and stuff. These little powder puffs have like taken the place of those for me. Um, I may use them, you know, every now and then, but for right now, I've been using these powder puffs. They work just the same. So that's on my neck. But, but yeah, they work just the same. And I just take it and just put it on my face, set my face with it. It does the same thing. But do what works for you. Do what works for you. All right, so we have that on. I'm going to reset the face again. I'm going to go in with the same thing, the e.l.f. Micro Fine Setting Mist. So the makeup's locked into place. I just smack myself in the face. All right, so now we're gonna go in with bronzer, blush, and highlight, like usual. So I'm gonna bring out my Ace Beauté bronzer. I love this stuff. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I really like it because I've already hit pen, you know. But I'm using like the ending two colors here just because I still have a tan. So I'm still using that. bronzer we're gonna go in with blush and highlight um, I've been keeping it pretty simple with blush and highlight I'm using the elf the bite size and I have the pomegranate palette so I have the blush and the highlight for the elf one just taking my you know brush dipping into the blush I love this color this color is so pretty All right, and then we're gonna do highlight, and I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. highlighter in here as well. And a, tr a trick, you can also spray your highlighting brush as well if you want that to really pop. Like if you're going somewhere on a special occasion or something, you can make it pop. Spray your brush, dip that in there, you'll be good to go. I always put it above my, or near my eyebrows as well, because you'll be just sparkling. I know some people put it on their nose. I am not putting it on my nose. Do what works for you. So I always say, do what works for you. So there's that. And then I think I'm gonna set my under eyes with the same color, or maybe not this shimmer on the under eyes, but I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro um, palette. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with you know some of the colors here. Um, the lower lash line, that's what I meant to say. Lower lash line, that's what we're gonna do. Lower lash line. So I think I'm going to take these two colors here, just mix them and put them on the lower lash line. And then I'll be blending this out as well. I'm 
And I just take it and I try to connect it up here to my eye. So there's that. And then again, I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend that out. Just a little bit, you don't wanna to do too much, just a little bit. So there's that. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my face um, with the CoverGirl powder. Simply Press Powder. I need to get a shade up, but this will work for now. But yeah, um, so I have this one in the color Soft Honey. This is in 255, but this is a good, you know, a good powder. Also, I use this to set my under eyes. I use this or I use my L'Oreal True Match. This one is in the shade W7, um, but I use this as well to set my under eyes um, to try to minimize the creasing. Again, nobody has perfect skin, so you just do what you can do. So I just take it, just apply it underneath my under eyes. And then I go in and set my face uh, with my pressed powder. But yeah, you just do what you can do. No rules to makeup, so do what works for you. And then I'm gonna take my pressed powder here. I can find my powder brush. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna take this powder, just dip into it, set my face. And that's that. Again, I will be changing shades here pretty soon. Um, and then we gotta do eyelashes, so I gotta put my mascara on. I'm still using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I still love this stuff. Thrive Cosmetics, I think that one, they have a really good mascara as well too. I have some of that as well. I may pull that out and use that here one day. Put one more coat on, and then that'll be it. All right, so I guess I'll put on a little lipstick to her, lip stain. I guess that's what they call it, a little lip stain. Um, I gotta find my gloss so well, I'll just put this on for now so I'm using this elf lip stain here this color is in basic beige so that's the color I'm gonna go ahead and put this on for now Let's see here guys so that is it I am finished so this is the look um, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will be loading up more content. Sorry for the delay. Um, please feel free to subscribe too as well. So I'll see you later, guys. Stay blessed.